guys, happy Monday. Today I'm going to show you how I, a very non-crafty person, made my own custom lipstick. I was on this search for a perfect nude type lipstick that wasn't too peach and also wasn't just a my lips but better pink. So I rounded up a whole bunch of different lipsticks that I wasn't super crazy about including this YSL color in 7D, which is kind of a peachy pink, as well as this Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche in Honeycomb, which was way too peach for me. This lipstick I recently reviewed from Celeste Lipsticks in Color Me Gold, which is a kind of frosted gold color. And my two little favorite, this is Moxie Get Ready. It's basically a My Lips But Better as well as this Makeup Forever in 6N. These two were on my Project Pan 2018 list, so let's just pan them now. And uh, we can knock those two off the completed list right away. Is that cheating? I'm pretty proud of myself. In the middle here, you can see I got this lipstick mold off of Amazon. It's two pieces, it's the silicone mold, and it's also this metal ring the purple metal ring and there's actually another third piece i guess which is this up and down holder which will hold the whole thing up and down while you're pouring i have a little makeup spatula for scraping out my lipsticks and cutting them up i have a glass bowl for mixing and melting i'm going to attempt to melt everything right in the microwave I got this lipstick mold on Amazon, American Amazon. I tried to find one on Canadian Amazon and I could only find the silicone tips. I couldn't find the whole three piece set. So this was 11 American dollars. Plus I had to pay like $7 shipping. So it was super expensive. Why does Amazon Canada suck so much? The tube I'm going to be depotting into is this Estee Lauder. This is from the Estee Edit, the Lip Flip shade transformer I had the color 06 turned down I just stuck it in the freezer and then when the lipstick was nice and hard you can just rip it out savagely in one easy go I'm actually going to save the lipstick bullet for later use in case I want to mix it into a different custom lipstick so I'm just gonna pop it in a baggie and stick it back into the freezer I had the genius idea here to actually weigh the old bullet to see how much uh, lipstick I should cut out of my tubes and it looked like I needed about 4 grams. So that is what I'm going to try to measure out here. I'm just going to tear the scale with the glass bowl on it. And now I'm just going to start chopping out the lipsticks and digging them out into my glass bowl. But as I go along here, you can see my scale is not sensitive enough to pick up what I'm putting down. So I ended up going and pretty much emptying out all of these lipstick bullets completely, digging them out completely to get as much product out as I possibly could. I'm just kind of going in blindly here. So to set up the lipstick mold, you put down the acrylic holder, you stick the silicone tip inside of it and then you put the metal piece right on top and then simply melt your lipstick and pour the whole lipstick concoction that you have inside of the tube. Then you can stick it in the fridge to set for however long it takes to get completely hard and set and then you theoretically just remove the lipstick. I gave everything a quick wipe down with alcohol before I poured everything in. So the silicone tip, the metal ring, and of course my old lipstick tube. I melted the lipstick between 15 and 30 seconds on a lower power setting and then simply poured as quickly as I could into the mold. To be honest, this did take me a couple tries because I felt like the lipstick wasn't quite liquidy enough to fill up the mold properly. I could definitely see there were some air bubbles inside of it. So the first time I definitely knew I failed. So I cleaned everything out of the silicone mold, gave everything a wipe and tried it again and then stuck it in the freezer to set. And then the attempt to fill up some of those holes the second time I tried it, I ended just kind of trying to fill it in, push it down with a spatula and smush it all together again. I was 
a little bit frustrated at this point, honestly. I don't know why mine was so like thick and creamy compared to other people's on YouTube. Okay, beautiful, into the freezer she goes. So here it is taken out from the freezer a couple hours later. Again, I tried this a couple times and every time I tried to take off the metal piece, it basically broke my lipstick in half. I'm attempting to stab it with a pencil to kind of help separate it. They said use a toothpick, but I didn't have a toothpick. Every time this happened. So I, uh, I accepted it gracefully. I peeled out the top of the bullet, painfully, but eventually I got it. And then I pull, pushed out the little part from the lipstick tube and I just smushed that right into the lipstick holder and then stuck the top of the bullet right on there just like that, wound it down and tested to make sure that everything was doing okay, give it another push together. Everything is covered in lipstick at this point. And uh, there you go, it's a, a, a handcrafted lipstick, a beautiful hand custom made a lipstick Beautiful color, maybe. We'll see about the color. Beautiful tube. So I gave everything a swipe with some more alcohol to clean everything up. It was all over my hands at this point too. Even though I was wearing one glove, why didn't I wear two gloves? And it was all over my counter, all over this stuff, which I just popped all the lipstick making accoutrements into the dishwasher because I'm guessing silicone and metal are all dishwasher safe, no big deal. Um, beautiful. That looks fantastic. It looks so professional, so beautiful. It actually does spin in the lipstick tube, which is amazing. Couple holes. We'll, we'll have to deal with that. If you want my full review and wear test and color reveal of this lipstick, make sure you check back on Wednesday's video where I will demo it, name it, Give it a wear test and an overall rating out of five, just like I would any other lipstick product. Pretty proud of myself. I can say this was a lot harder than I expected it to be. I'm not a crafty person, but I'm pretty impressed that I did get something in a tube of lipstick. It does apply to your lips. Thanks to my Patreons for helping to support my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Leave any comments, suggestions, tips if you tried this down in the comments below. Like I said, I'll see you in Wednesday's video. Bye bye.